Hey guys, and welcome hey back guys. to- and welcome back to- Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry, I didn't realize so, you No, were. you first, go ahead. Oh no, please, that would be so rude and unladylike, I couldn't possibly- I insist. No, I insist. You go first. No. You. You're too kind. It's only polite. A tween. Jeff Grinch. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. And today we're gonna become ladylike. So sit up straight. Close your legs. We are not a jar of peanut butter, so stop spreading. Being a lady of refinement is a lot of work. It's not something that just happens. It takes time and dedication. With a great lady comes great responsibility. It is exactly like being Spider-Man. You have to coordinate outfits and have good hand-eye reflexes so you can move gracefully. And then you have to watch your uncle die, and that's the probably the worst one, I think. The hardest part, though, is all the people telling you how to be ladylike constantly. When I was growing up, being ladylike seemed less about becoming well-mannered and more about adults having an excuse to yell at you over things that boys could get away with. That's not ladylike was kind of like saying that's not very nice, but only directed towards girls for doing normal kid things. Now, Timothy, what did I tell you about cutting off your sister's hair and then burying her in the backyard? To not do that? Very good. And Rebecca, what did I tell you about getting dirt on your clothes? But it's from him. Uh -uh. No buts, Rebecca. Go pack your bags. I never want to see your face again. But actual lady etiquette is super, super complex. I fell down this rabbit hole on TikTok a couple weeks ago, and it turns out I've been doing everything completely wrong. I'm gonna use the restroom, BRB. Okay, never say that when you are at the dinner table. It is bad manners and bad etiquette. You do not have to declare what you're doing, where you're going, or why. Because you are not a child. You are a lady. A child wouldn't say BRB, I have to use the restroom. It would be more like, mom, Hey mom, I need to go to the poop room to use the poop seat. It's a big one. Bring your chicken parm, cause it's gonna be a minute. The best thing to say is just, excuse me, I will be right back. You don't need to declare or give an explanation. Not specifying where you're going kind of draws more attention though. If you say you're going to the bathroom, I'm like, okay, they're going to the bathroom. If you say, pardon me, I'll be right back. I'm like, okay, they're doing drugs in the bathroom. I'm gonna have more questions if you're acting like the bathroom is an unspeakable thing. Excuse me, just a second. Where are you going? To the, uh, over there, the bathroom? We do not speak of that place. Whoa, 18 years ago, that place took my family. That place did? And it left me with this scar. Wait, how? One day I will destroy that toilet. Oh, I already did that. What? Yeah, the Texas cheese fries did not sit well. Rejoice! Okay. The realm is free. We're finally free. But something we can speak about is today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Raycon. If you're bored doing laundry, can't stop thinking about how you'll never be done doing laundry, and it never ends no matter how many loads you do. It's just socks and towels and more socks and it keeps going forever and ever and ever, then you should try using Raycons. They've got wireless headphones, earbuds, even speakers that all offer premium sound quality without having to break the bank. Their everyday earbuds are sleek, compact, and come in a bunch of different colors like carbon black, electric blue, flare red, and rose gold. Not only can you customize color, but the everyday earbuds come with a bunch of optimized gel tips that you can switch around until they fit perfectly snug in your ears. They've got eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of standby so that you can use them no matter what the day throws at you. It's gonna throw laundry at you. You can control the everyday earbuds with a touch of a button. Tapping the side can be used for switching between sound profiles, skipping a song, turning up volume, or taking phone calls so you can talk to your mom while you do laundry because you're still doing laundry. If you wanna check them out, just click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash chadchad for 15% off of your Raycon purchase. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. How to exit a room. Don't turn your back. Say thank you, goodbye and smile. Back out slowly, facing the people in the room with confidence. Leave and keep eye contact until the door is closed again. Whenever you're leaving the room, make everyone feel a little distrusted. Just a tad. Make them feel like you suspect them of wrongdoing. Okay, I'm gonna head out now, guys. Okay, bye. bye. See you later, okay, everyone. see you tomorrow. Sometimes these videos involve really specific scenarios, like how to pick up your purse from the ground. Or the most ladylike method, just leave it there. Don't even bend over, just cut your losses. I don't understand who this is for. I just don't know who's watching closely enough to be impressed by how you pick something up.
What I mostly don't understand about etiquette is when it extends beyond like the dinner table, because I understand classes where you go and they show you which fork to use or where to put your napkin, but some of these apply even when you're in your own home. Five things elegant ladies never do at home. Eat in front of the television. Gulp out of bottles. Neglect your hygiene. Wear slobbish clothing. Have a cluttered slash untidy environment. So picking your nose and, and wiping it on the couch is off the table, then? That's a no? Got it. Rules don't apply when you're in your own home, okay? There's no shame there. That's the only place you get to stop the facade, not continue to care about your appearance. I like to come home after a long shift at work and slip into something more comfortable, high heels and a ball gown. Then I reapply my makeup just in time to go to bed and sip water from a decanter. I've seen this rule a couple of times, but they never really give an explanation on why we shouldn't be drinking directly from bottles. My only guess is that we don't look dainty enough while doing it. Nothing could matter less. There's no equivalent of the rule for gentlemen. If there was a TikTok telling men not to drink from bottles, it would be for a completely different reason. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. Water bottles, phallic, so phallic. Drinking water is gay, don't do it. Oh, you're hydrated? How long have you had a boyfriend? What are you guys, like dating? Yeah, what are you guys, like happy together? Yeah, what, are you good, Are you two gonna get married? And what, like love each other till death do you part? That sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> I am so thirsty. I've noticed that sometimes there will be situations where being ladylike is more of a priority than basic safety. <laughs> I thought it was more of a posture thing, like just keep your head high, but it literally says not to look down. Ladies, your instinct may be to look down and make sure you don't tumble to your death, but your instinct is rude. This is kind of similar to how women weren't allowed to ride horses normally and had to suspend themselves from the side like a human picture frame because they thought riding a horse normal would make you lose your virginity. Ahem. Sure you might fall off because you're kind of defying gravity, but at least you won't be a slut. There are just some situations where I think it's okay to throw etiquette to the wind. Like, do we still need to look elegant while we're in the ambulance? For some reason, most of these creators really hate athletic wear. Number one tip to look expensive and elegant every single day. Dress for the occasion, ladies. I see so many people shopping and traveling in yoga pants and sports trainers. This just is not acceptable, ladies, if you want to look elegant and expensive. I was just recently on a plane in the back seat closest to the bathroom, and the whole time I was thinking to myself, man, I am underdressed. She says to dress for the occasion, but if you're wearing yoga pants and the occasion is Starbucks, then you are dressed for the occasion. I get etiquette as a hobby, like as something you're interested in, but this just has a lot of holier than thou energy. Not a lot of people have time to worry about looking classy at the grocery store. And they're not enforcing formal attire. Like the store greeters aren't there to make sure you fit the dress code. Hi, welcome to Kroger. Are those Crocs? Get the fuck out. Once your guests arrive, don't take them to the living room and offer them a seat before. Showing them the restroom first. How are we supposed to introduce them to the bathroom? I thought we weren't supposed to talk about it. Hey guys, come on in. This is the foyer. Oh, watch your step. And uh, this is the... Th this is the... I think it might be a little awkward to show people the bathroom first. I just wait until people need it and then tell them because otherwise it's like, here's the crapper in case you need it, in case you do, I know you will. So just if you need to take a massive steaming wet dump, 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 dump. no? Okay, let's see. You really can't catch a break with this stuff because even your hobbies need to be ladylike. Elegant hobbies, equestrianism, art enthusiast, Gardening, ballet classes, archery, skiing, polo, baking. 
isn't choosing a hobby based on what other people think of it kind of defeating the whole purpose of having a hobby? It's supposed to be a you thing, not a make other people think I'm fancy thing. So this is my scrapbook. I just like to work on it when I have some me time. Aw, that is so cute. Yeah, I guess. I like to make this when I have some free time. Wow. Yeah, this is way better than your scrapbook. Well, yeah, pick your scrapbook. Okay, shit on it. I'm gonna shit on your scrapbook. Please don't. So you can't take a break with your hobbies. You can't take a break in your own home. Do you ever get to pause being ladylike? Because it seems like it's almost a sport. It's like a competition that never ends. It's like the Hunger Games, but for elegant ladies. it there guys thank you for subscribing and if you are still here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here and i'll see you next time okay bye